Hello there, you beautiful person. Well, 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 you must be feeling super proud of yourself right now, right? You've come so far in this section of the course. So to fully celebrate that, I wanted to make a video and have a quick recap so that you can soak in all the awesome stuff that you've learned in this section of the course. So you started off with the very basics and you learned how to open and close the terminal using graphical methods and by using our now beloved keyboard shortcuts. And it was all very strange to you at first, but you jumped right in anyway and you started typing out and using your first commands. You saw the date command, the cal command, and the echo command, and you saw how to clear your terminal's history. We don't want any spies looking at our history after all, do we? <laughs> now you were making progress, but it was all kind of weird, and you probably weren't too sure of what was actually going on when you ran a command. So then you learned the difference between the terminal and the shell. You learned that the shell is what interprets the commands that you type, just like you interpret the meanings of words that you read. And when you understood what commands actually were, you learned the general structure of a command. Learning that commands follow a command name, options, arguments, structure, okay? Now because it became clear that although uh, commands follow a similar structure, they do vary quite a bit in their usage. They each have their own specific options and use cases and it would be impossible to memorize them all. So you learned how to look in the Linux manual. You learned how the manual was broken up and you saw how to search for terms and read the manual pages and how to learn new things for yourself and find things as and when you need them rather than having to memorize everything. So it's like having your own personal search engine for your computer, which is pretty incredible in my opinion. Now, then we took our discussion even deeper and you learned that commands can take input as standard input and command line arguments and they can give output via standard output and standard error data streams. You saw how to redirect these data streams to wherever you wish and how to pipe together different commands to build powerful pipelines and how to use the T command and the xargs command for extra pipeline flexibility. And the re this really is amazing how far you've come in such a short amount of time. So I wanted to make this video to congratulate you on your progress so far. So well done, you little computer genius, you. Now in the next section, you're going to learn about navigating the Linux file system, and you'll also learn some new building blocks to use in your pipelines. But before that, I have a project for you to complete. Now the project will challenge you to build your very own Linux command pipeline. Now it's going to be awesome and it will serve as a badge of honor that you have learned everything that we've covered in this section so that you can feel confident moving on. Now in the next video, I'm going to be giving you your project brief. So congratulations once again, you're doing amazingly, and I'll see you there.